going? Welcome to another video upload from SBU with Attitude. If you're watching this for the first time, my name is David. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism. I have some speech difficulty, a speech impairment, and a speech impairment, and I have speaking syndrome, and that's why I call myself an SB. And now I'm trying to welcome you to another video upload from SBU with Attitude. And what I do in this YouTube channel is I talk about autism and sometimes I usually talk about my special interests, any obsessions or any passions that I have and also I make a stand for autistic rights, autism acceptance and I light up red for autism acceptance and just once I sit down and if you wish to support this channel please why not subscribe to my YouTube channel Ask me for attitude. That's all I ask for in terms of support. And also, if you wish to keep up to date with Ask me for attitude, you can always ring this notification bell to keep up to date. Yeah, that's all you need to do. And just one more thing to ask for in terms of more support. If you please like and share this video content around with your friends, with your family, with your autism community. That's all I've ever asked for in terms of support with this channel. Since that time this video upload that I had 619 subscribers. And now, just to get on with it then. For this video upload, it's all explained. How do I feel being on the autism spectrum? And also, how I have heard the way others have felt being on the autism spectrum through most Facebook feeds that I see through social media as well. And other social media platforms like Twitter. And now, to some extent, being on the autism spectrum is it all about sunshines, green grass, and rainbows, walking on the road paved with gold. I had seen plenty of posts on social media platforms that some autistic individuals do feel unhappy about being on the autism spectrum. It's rather difficult to specify it all depends on the individual. Being on the autism spectrum can be a real challenge and is certainly not an easy life to live. Being autistic can often be an obstacle whether if an autistic individual would understand it or not. Challenges being on the autism spectrum does vary and I find it difficult to advocate for everyone who is on the autism spectrum. I did, once upon a time, describe myself as an autism advocate back in 2019. It's nowadays. I no longer describe myself as an autistic advocate since there are too much I would have needed to eliminate from this YouTube channel that you're watching now, Aspid Attitude. Such as the trademark introduction and the artwork I use on this channel, it's only to see advocates for autistic individuals with visual simile and just can't even look at the test card and the animation and probably overwhelmed by maybe flashes, just too many colours in general. And also there are regards to other autistic individuals who have auditory simile, do not like the music soundtrack that I also use in my visual works considering that I do make my own music as well as all the animations that I do. So most of the music is all mixed by me. Just 95% of it really. And now the point is, it's too difficult to be an autistic advocate without sacrificing my creativity that I want to embrace on my autistic YouTube channel, Ask Me of Attitude, make this identifiable from other autistic YouTube channels that's already out there. Not everyone in the worldwide autistic community feel the same as other autistic individuals out there. Nowadays, I just do my own thing. This autistic YouTube channel is all about how I feel embracing my autism. It was since after the year 2016 I have left the Australian hip hop scene only to fill in this creative void. It was in early 
2018, I had decided to begin this autistic YouTube channel, Aspie with Attitude. The way this channel had developed in almost four years, I've decided to make this as a fun field hobby, explain how I feel good being on the autism spectrum. This is so much I had put into this channel over the last few years, and it will be a very long video upload explaining the whole lot. Just to get into what the video is actually about, it's about how do I honestly feel about being on the autism spectrum. First off, I had in the last four decades been through some bad experiences that I've learned from, especially living my life on the autism spectrum. I feel being autistic is a real challenge, especially the way I think and feel differently about the world around us. I may sound like that I am always feeling good about being autistic and the way I have been bracing my autism throughout this whole entire channel. It's not always the case. The challenges are, I'm talking about mainstream society, neurotypical driven society can often look down upon autistic individuals if they step out of line from what's so called the social norms. Masking autism isn't really my thing. In general public, I always expect the each to their own kind of society out there, especially when wandering through neurotypical driven society. Especially when living in Australia, the land down under is a democratic Western society. And once you go through general public in Australia, it's almost like anyone would see a female who follows Islam. And we see that the Muslim female is entitled to embrace her Islamic faith in Western mainstream society. We're talking about being dressed maybe in a full burqa or that she's wearing a headscarf, just like all normal female Muslims would. And this is just one female individual, or maybe many female individuals, who follow Islam, would actually ex embrace her faith in general public. This is just like what I had described in episode 31. That was way back on the 8th of December 2018, when I did upload this episode, talking about feeling different, and how everyone's always different from one and another. And once this comes down to explaining how I actually feel being autistic, well, this actually just makes me feel good the way I'm explaining this right now in this video upload. Except, not everyone are going to accept my point of view about autism acceptance. For example, if there was a cure for autism, I will not take the cure because I overall feel good about being autistic despite the challenges that I face every single day. Being autistic is just a part of me, a part of who I am as a human being. After everything I have learned about autism, I had found out more about myself and who I am as an individual and why I am different from everyone else. There's always a lot more to discover about autism and I won't go into any further details in this video upload and whatever details I may miss, I'd love to save the rest for my future video uploads. Since I had no intentions to make this a very long video. And to answer your question though, how do I feel being autistic? But I'll tell ya, I just feel good. That's all you pretty much need to know. So like, I'm always just going to feel good just the way how I'm going to sign out this video. And I always usually like to do this. Yeah, check this one out, okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to Aspie if I choose. And I just hope you understood what I've just said in this video content, how I feel about being autistic, since I do feel good. Peace and respect, and see you next time.